how are you all in this video we are going to continue our chapter 13 surface area and volume of class 9th so let us continue our exercise 13.1 so in this video we are going to start with question number 3 for question number 1 and 2 you can watch our previous video so let us uh, read this question in this question the floor of a rectangular hall has a perimeter 250 meter perimeter students as you know the floor is given as rectangular okay so what can we say about the perimeter of rectangle that is perimeter of rectangle that is a formula 2l plus d which is given in the question floor of a rectangular hall has a perimeter 250 meter so this value is given 250 meter in the question. Next thing, what is given here? If the cost of painting the four walls, us hall ki, room ki, four walls, hmm, four walls ko paint karne ka. At the rate rupees 10, according to this rate, total cost is rupees 15,000. So we need to understand what is the use of this rate and total cost. Okay. First of all, let us understand how we will use this rate and total cost. What is the use of these two given things? So just understand with the help of a situation. So let us consider let for any area that is a meter square. We have considered this. Uh, separate area and rate of painting rate of whitewashing or rate of paint you can say is rupees x per meter square so in this situation how will you calculate total cost if area is given and rate is given rate is rupees x per meter square so we simply use unitary method here by this rupees x per meter square. So we write in this way cost of whitewashing 1 meter square area. Per meter square that is 1 meter square area. So cost of whitewashing 1 meter square area is rupees x. Okay. Now how much area we have to paint? We have to paint a meter square area. So, cost of painting a meter square area. For this area, total cost become now rupees x into a. Okay. So, let me write this equation. Let me write this condition in terms of a formula. Okay. So, cost of painting a meter square area. That is total cost. If in this way, we have calculated total cost. So what are we getting here? Total cost we are getting rupees x that is rate into a that is area. This we got a formula for total cost is equals to rate into area. Okay, but in this question Total cost is given to us, rate is given to us and we want to find out area and which area will come out? Area of 4 walls. Jiska hame total kharch diya hua tha, total expense diya hua tha. Okay, so that was 4 walls. So by this formula we can find out area of 4 walls. That is total cost divided by rate. Okay. Now fill the values after getting this formula. Total cost is 15,000 and rate is rupees 10. So area of 4 volts we get 1500 meter square in this way. Okay. Now another thing perimeter 2L plus B this is also given. Now we have calculated area of 4 walls. So just write down the formula for area of 4 walls. Okay. So let's write down that formula. Area of 4 walls is 2L plus B 
into h and its value is 1500. Okay. Here this value 2L plus B. This is also given in the equation. Parameter of the base that is 250. So let's write down 250 in place of 2L plus B. So it will be like 250 multiplied by H is equals to 1500. So by this we can get value of H 1500 divided by 250. That is 6 meter. So in this way we can calculate height of the hall that is 6 meter. Let us see question number 4 now. In this question, the paint in a certain container, a big container is with us and that paint can paint an area 9.375 meter square. Means the paint in the container, it can cover this much area, meter square. Okay. And they are asking how many bricks out of this paint, the paint in the container, out of this paint, how many bricks we can paint. Okay, so student, you know, whenever we are going to paint any brick, means which surface we are going to paint. Obviously, it's all the outer surface. So, in a brick, brick is again a shape of cuboid. It means we will find out the total surface area of the brick. So, brick ki all six surfaces ka area hum find out karenge. Okay. And total area this much can be painted and we will find out surface area of one brick. Okay. Now, we have to calculate how many bricks of this dimension can be painted. So, whenever we have to calculate number, number of bricks, total this area Total this area can be painted and surface area of one brick we can calculate. Okay. To find the number of bricks, always divide the bigger area that can be painted by smaller area that we want to paint. Okay. So, we will use this formula always to find the number of things. So, in this question, first of all calculate surface area of Brick. So, brick, all dimensions, length, breadth and height, three dimensions are given here. Length is 22.5 cm. So, be careful again, total area that can be painted is in meter square. Okay. And for the brick, all the dimensions are in centimeter. Okay. So, we have to take care of this thing. All the dimensions must be in same unit. Okay. So, first let's calculate surface area of the brick. As surface area is cuboid. Okay. So, just write down the formula for surface area of cuboid. 2LB, EH and HL. Okay. Now, just substitute the values. In place of L, we can write 22.5. B is 10, then B 10, this is L, B, H. In place of H, we can write 7.5, okay. Then plus H and L, H is 7.5 and L is 22.5, okay. So on simplification, this area will be 225 plus 75 plus on multiplication, we will get 168.75. Okay. Be very careful while doing calculation. So, on addition, we will get 468.75. And uh, then multiply by 2. Surface area of brick, we got 937.5 cm square. Now, total area that can be painted by this basket by this uh, container that is 9.375 meter square this area is in fact in the unit meter square and brick area is in centimeter square so we need to convert this area into centimeter square in fact meter square just understand this thing meter square is the multiplication of two dimensions length and breadth Okay, length in meter 
and breath is also in meter. So whenever we convert this meter square into centimeter, we have to convert this meter into centimeter and another meter, two dimensions are here. So we have to multiply 100 and 100 two times. Okay. So just multiply it by 100 and 100. Now it becomes centimeter square. So now there are four zeros. Okay. So decimal will shift four digits forward and we got this total area that can be painted is 93750 centimeter square. Now to find out number of bricks that can be painted. Kitni bricks hum maha paint kar paayenge. We will use this formula always. Number of bricks or number of anything that will be bigger area divided by smaller area. A smaller area you can understand here. Smaller area is the area of one brick. Surface area of one brick. That is surface area of brick. Now just substitute the values. Bigger area is 93750 and smaller area is 937.5. You can observe that digits are almost same. So just remove this decimal and 10 will be in numerator. As it is, these digits will cancel each other and we will get 100 as number of breaks. Okay, now we will get 100 as number of breaks. Now let us see its question number 5 of exercise 13.1. Okay, in this question, cubical box means one box is in the shape of cube has edge 10 cm. Edge of the cube is 10 cm and another cuboidal box. Another box is in the shape of cuboid. Whose dimensions are length, breadth and height. These are like this. So separately you can write for cube edge is equals to 10 cm. Okay. So first let's write the dimension of two boxes separately. And for cuboid. Length, length L is equals to 12.5 centimeter, B is equals to 10 meter and height is equals to 8 meter. These dimensions are given. Now in first part it is asked that which box has greater lateral surface area. Lateral surface area means vertical surface area that is surface area of four walls we have to calculate. The surface area of cubical box. Four walls means 4 into edge square. Students don't forget to write formula first. So 4 into edge that is 10 square. So it will be 400 centimeter square. And now calculate for cuboid lateral surface area LSA. Lateral surface area of cuboid. For cuboid, lateral surface area, area of four walls. Formula will be 2L plus B into H. Now fill the values here in place of L, 12.5 plus B, that is 10 into H, that is 8. So on simplification, it will give 12 plus 10, 22.5, multiply by 16. So this will give 360 centimeter square. Now you can observe which box has greater lateral surface area. This lateral surface area 400 and this one is 360. So clearly cubical box has greater lateral surface area. And next question is how much? Kitna zyada hai. So for how much we will subtract it 400 minus 360 that is 40 cm square. Okay. Cubical box ka lateral surface area 40 cm square zyada aega cuboidal box se. Okay. Now in the second part of this question we have to calculate which box has smaller total surface area. 
So we have to calculate total surface area of both the boxes. Okay. So cube edge is 10. So total surface area that is surface area of all 6 surfaces. That is 6 into edge square. So 6 into 10 square. This will be 600 centimeter square. This is the surface area for cube. And now let's calculate total surface area of cuboid. Always write formula first and then fill the values. So in place of L, we will write 12.5 into P10, then P10, H8, H8, L12.5. Okay, and be very careful. Once observe all the units, centimeter, 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 centimeter. All must be in same unit. Okay, so just calculate it, multiply first, this is 125 plus 80 and on multiplication it will be 100. So finally we are getting on addition, this is 300, 100, 100, 200, this is 305. So finally we are getting 610 centimeter square. So total surface area. We can see total surface area of cuboid is bigger and cube is smaller. So, what was asked in the question, which box has smaller total surface area? So, again, cube is having smaller total surface area. So, smaller total surface area will be of cube. Next, how much? Kitna kam hoga? How much? So on subtraction, in dono values ko, let us subtract these two values. This will be 610 minus 600, that is 10 centimeter square. So, itna surface area, total surface area, cube ka itna kam aisa. Okay, let us see its question number 6 also. In this question, a small indoor greenhouse. Herbarium is made entirely of glass pens. We have glass sheets. Okay, all the sheets are in the shape of rectangle. Okay, two glass sheets are attached with the help of tape all around the edges. This uh, greenhouse herbarium will be a box-like structure. And it is entirely made of glass pens. Kaj ki kuch sheets hain, you know, rectangular sheets and they are attached, they are joined with the help of tape on the edges. Okay? You can see the statue of God and Goddess as a showpiece which is in the glass box. You can imagine in this way, a glass box. Okay? So this uh, small indoor greenhouse, it is a box-like structure. Hmm. It is a shape of cuboid and uh, we have to calculate area of the glass. Total area. Hmm. Entirely it is made of glass pens. Means we have to calculate total surface area. Okay, which can be easily calculated with the help of this formula. First write down formula and then just put up all the values. Length 30 cm, breadth 25 and height is also 25. Just fill this value 30, 25, 25, 25 and 25 and 30. On multiplication this will be 750, 625 and again 750. So on calculating, we are getting 4250 cm square. Now students, you can imagine these glass sheets, uh, rectangular sheets are joined with the help of tape. And tape, where we will put, uh, for suppose we want to join this surface and this surface. These two surfaces we want to join. So we will put the tape on this dimension. When you join this and this surface, so overall 
along all the edges along all the edges we have to put the tail all the 12 edges we have to put the tape to prepare this box in second part it is asked the length of the tail so there are altogether 12 edges means 4 times length 4 times breadth and 4 times height these are all the 12 edges we can understand in this diagram also lengthwise one length this is second length then third length and four times so four times lengthwise tape is required in the same way four times four times breadthwise this is breadth this is breadth okay and uh, this red color dimension four times height wise tape is required so in this way by taping all the 12 dimensions this box will be prepared so let's calculate length of tape 4 i am taking common and uh, remaining will be l plus v plus h and now fill the values all the values in place of l 30 v 25 and h that is also 25 now add all these three numbers. This will be 18, 25, 25, 50 and 30, 80. So on multiplication we will getting 320 centimeter, which is required length of the tail. So this is all about this video. In next video we will meet with next questions of this chapter of this exercise. Till then stay tuned, enjoy life, enjoy maths as it's easy.